Well, guys, uh, here we are. Uh, I guess you could call this part two of our uh, room renovation. Um, you know, uh, as you've seen in the previous video, we took down some cabinets and a few things like that that were, uh, you know, in our way. Um, now all we got to do is fill the uh, remaining holes. You know, we have the set here and a little crack down the seam of that wall as well as another set here from the flat screen TV mount. Um, there is a hook hole in the back from one of those over the door hooks as well as a doorknob hole uh, we have to fill as well. And then there's uh, like the other holes over here from the cabinet that we need to fill too as well as another set of holes over here from the other cupboard. But um, as well as I noticed, uh, you know, as long as we're filling them, there's another, you know, crack right up here. Um, apparently, like, you know, given the age of my house, there really isn't no, um, no tape on these seams. So uh, if, you'd look, if you notice here, like I got the molding pulled away, if you notice here exactly where it's cracked is exactly the seam of the, uh, where two pieces of drywall meet. So yeah, you know, they obviously, you know, didn't use tape back then for the seams. And you know, it's uh it's cracked out. If I really wanted to get fussy, I probably could V, you know, cut away, V away all this here above each one of these doors and each one of the corners. And you know, either lay in new tape or refill it. But you know, just go around the room and uh, you know make up a mental note of where all the little nail holes and stuff like that are and then we can come back and uh, you know fill them you know there's a crack here in this wall that I'm pretty much goes right from top to bottom so guys we have our pail of mud and a couple of new drywall uh, scrapers or spreaders to get the mud on the wall so let's get at her and see where she leads well guys, uh, here we are in our room again. I'm um, about to put the first uh, fill on some of these holes. So you just take your mud and uh, slide her on over. So you try to get the majority of it in the hole. You know. Um, as you see here, it kind of looks like this is starting to, or trying to fall out. The problem with that is uh, being it looks like it's trying to fall out is there's really nothing behind it to hold, right? So yeah, it's, it's going to try and fall out. But uh, we have these holes over here that we can fill. So you just take a, a scoop of your mud. And you pretty much just run them over the uh, nail hole or screw hole or whatever you're trying to fill and uh, there's not really a wrong way to do it there's not really a right or wrong way to do this if you're a do-it-yourself here and never done this before it's kind of a trial and error type of deal I'm sure there's a professional drywaller out there you know that's gonna probably comment and say you know, you're doing it wrong or whatever right but it all pretty much ends up in the same result in the end so does it really matter how you get there right now if this was a five hundred thousand dollar house or I was doing a professional job there'd be a different method on uh, going about it right but this is my own home and this is how they're going to get filled for now this uh, house is 60 years old there's several patches and holes over the years that have been done these walls are by no means perfect to begin with. My, uh, my feel will just add character to the existing, uh, you know, wall and existing the way it is. So guys, what I'll do is I'll uh, do another fill on a few more and I'll give you guys another update. So guys, we have this crack here. It pretty much goes from the ceiling down probably about 24 or 36 inches. So what I'm going to do is just kind of gently V out the uh, crack, pretty much making it bigger, if you will. 
Now, um, now if you look at the drywall, if you push on it, you actually can see the drywall move. So obviously there isn't, uh, either isn't a stud behind here, or it isn't fastened down uh, adequately. Now if I really wanted to, I could put a few screws in it and probably put a, a bead of tape over it and uh, mud it and make it look okay. But again, uh, you know, I'm just going to fill it for now because this is only a temporary fix just so we can, uh, you know, paint her another color. So you just take your mud, give her a gentle squeeze in there, try to get as much as you can into the, uh, into the crack itself. Sometimes it requires, you know, a couple of different passes, a couple of different tries. I've seen actually people um, when they're filling cracks will actually use, um, you know, it looks similar to a bread bag or a Ziploc bag full of mud and they kind of like, you know, like they're decorating a cake, squeeze it in there and then uh, trowel it from there. But, you know, I'm not going to do that. So guys, we'll get this crack filled and then I'll move on to these holes. Um, probably catch up with you guys at the end of the fill. Okay guys, so now we have the old uh, plug-in box hole here that I want to fill. Um, what I've done is I've picked up uh, one of these uh, fiber tape um, 4x4 patch type dealies. They claim it's self-adhesive, but uh, with my experiences these adhesive patches never seem to stick. So what I'm going to do is probably put a layer of mud there and then stick the patch on and bury it in another layer of mud. Um, I'm not sure if that's the way you're supposed to install it, but uh, that's the way it seems to be wanting to stick on this wall. So uh, what we'll do is we'll, like I said, apply our layer of mud. You know, you don't have to be... Uh, skimp on this because yeah it's just going to be it's going to squeeze to where it wants to squeeze out where it wants to and uh, then you just scrape off the uh, excess right so there you go we've got the uh, mud on so we'll take our patch which I've already pre-cut pre-trimmed to fit where I want it to and it sticks in there um, then what we'll do is we'll squeeze it out Try to get the mud to come through the patch itself. That's how it's uh, squeezing through here. And the mud itself will help to hold it. And then what we'll do is we'll put another layer of mud over top. Basically sealing it in, if you will. So guys, what I'll do is I'll apply that other layer of mud. And then I'll give you guys an update. So guys, um... We got the first fill on these walls. As you see, the flat screen TV mount uh, holes are pretty much, you know, as I said, first fill. Same with the over the door hanger there and the uh, doorknob hole. Um, you know, uh, we're just waiting for it to dry now. Uh, we got the plug in one down here that's filled, just waiting for it to dry as well as you know the seams and a few things like that where they cracked out we're just waiting for it to dry as well we'll uh we'll see how it goes we'll check in later once everything's ready to be sanded and then we'll go from there so guys after your mud has dried um go around before you sand it to save you guys some headache while sanding just take your scraper and pretty much drag over top of where you pipe and uh, all that's doing there is knocking off any of the ridges any of the high spots 
to save you the extra, you know, headache of extra sanding that you don't need to do. So basically we'll go through the room here knocking off all the high spots and then we'll give her a gentle sand. So I'll get that done and we'll check in. So pretty much when you're sanding uh, you don't apply a lot of pressure. Just enough to get the job done. And you're not really sanding per se to sand, you're sanding just to really knock down any of the high spots because any of the indents or whatever you have filled previously, the mud will have shrank. And you're just knocking off the high spots so you can refill it. So guys, as I said, you know, I'm not a professional drywaller. I've done some of this before and I've learned a bit by experience you know and uh, this video is not to say that this is a way to do it this video is not to say uh, you know that I'm an expert it's just to show you that uh, kind of a glimpse onto my project that I'm doing here so guys I'll give this corner a sand and address the other spots that we have and then when it's time to fill, I'll check back in. So guys, once you've gone over your wall and sanded all those spots you want to sand, what I do is I take a damp rag and just go over where I've puttied this lightly, not too wet, you know, as I said, just damp. And what you're doing there is you're picking up the dust because mud won't stick to dust so you go through all of your places that you puttied all the places that you mud all the places that have the nail holes and basically you're picking up the dust so you can re mud and of course uh, what is done here is it's added more uh, moisture to the existing mud that you just sanded so what I would what I do what I would recommend doing is uh, after you've got it all wiped down wait a few minutes let the moisture evaporate and then come back and reapply your mud so guys I'll get this wiped down and then when it's time to re-mud I'll check back in so guys I just put another coat of mud up on the wall here uh, we should get we should be getting close to getting done here it may take another coat just to get a you know a coverage on these spots but uh, gotta let the stuff dry and then we'll hit her again uh, give her another good sand but that concludes part two of our room renovation video so as always thank you for watching Maxwell's world comment subscribe and enjoy